long and slow. slow. Yeah, which is uh, it's like the worst. Yes, not a great combination and breaking records already. So Hurricane Barrel, this is the earliest Category 4 hurricane on record for the Atlantic Basin. And then it's going to get into the Gulf. Yes, so that's this really moving. Scary. And the Gulf yeah. is above average as well. Mm -hmm. So let's get right to it. Looking at the track, so it has maximum sustained winds at 150 miles per hour, still bearing down on the Windward Islands. That will continue to make its way across the Caribbean Sea. So this is where it's heading next. So notice it slides nearby uh, the Dominican Republic and Haiti as a Category 3 hurricane throughout the day tomorrow. This is where we have a tropical storm watch for the southern shoreline and then approaching Jamaica as a Category 2 throughout the day on Wednesday. And we have a hurricane watch out for most of Jamaica at this time. That moves over the Yucatan Peninsula Friday morning and then moving into the Gulf of Mexico, which is also well above average too when it comes to ocean temperatures. At this time, it's too early to say if this will be an issue for southern Texas, but we will keep you updated. For us closer to home, things are quiet for now. Temperatures in the 70s for most of the tri-state, 74 degrees in the Central Park. We have more cloud cover popping up, but still a decent amount of sunshine. The current AQI is 24. So the forecast today, a high of 80. That's below the average of 84. And sunset at 831. Temperatures in the 70s at 77 in Islip, White Plains, 74 for you. And down to 73 in Poughkeepsie. It is blustery, so that's one of our main weather issues today. North winds are gusting up to 25 to 30 miles per hour. It stays blustery for the rest of this evening with winds finally slowly letting up overnight. North flow that is pushing in drier air, so dew points are still down to the mid to upper 50s, still holding on to the low 60s in some areas, but these numbers are going in the right direction, falling down into eventually the lower 50s, potentially in the upper 40s in some areas early tomorrow. But on satellite and radar, showing a mixture of sunshine and clouds. We had a few sprinkles earlier in the morning across Ulster County that has fallen apart, and now I'm watching a shower that's now getting closer to the North Fork. This is slowly fizzling out, but there is a chance for a spot sprinkle across the east end for this afternoon, all due to a disturbance. The bigger picture, a cold front that's moving away from us in return. We have high pressure that is getting closer. So on future cast, mainly quiet for the rest of this afternoon. Sun and clouds, temperatures upper 70s, lower 80s, even overnight, noticing clear conditions. And by tomorrow morning, more sun, and we'll continue to have plenty of sunshine throughout the day on Tuesday, even though our model is trying to bring in some cloud cover. We'll start to notice some changes on Wednesday. Even though Wednesday will have similar high temperatures, humidity starts to build, and this is why high pressure moves offshore and return on the backside of this high pressure. Southwest flow pushes in warm and humid air. And Thursday for the 4th of July, I mentioned earlier, we have a chance for an isolated shower or storm. That's all due to this cold front. The timing is mainly late Thursday afternoon through Thursday evening, but at this time, I don't think it's enough rain to cancel any of your outdoor plans. Just something to be aware of. On Friday, a similar set up with a chance for a few spotty showers and thunder showers. But today, just a great start to the week and the month. High temperatures upper 70s, lower 80s, running a bit below average, partly cloudy, breezy, less humid. Prepare for gusts up to 25 to 30 miles per hour. And tonight, 64, clear skies, low humidity continues. Tomorrow, almost hitting repeat, 83, just a few degrees warmer, but we'll still have this refreshing drier air in place. That starts to change Wednesday. That's a transitional day for the 4th of July, 86 a spot thunder shower. More of the same on Friday and this weekend. Pretty steamy with high temperatures in the upper 80s and the lower 90s. Hey, summer. It's here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brittany. Mm -hmm. Next here on Eyewitness News at noon, holding Boeing accountable. Why some say an expected plea deal agreement between the company and the DOJ doesn't go far enough. A celebration of love, acceptance, and allyship. We take a look at some of the highlights from yesterday's Pride March. Let's go.